In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Writing Test 8, Section 2. We're still on the third passage out of four, Court Reporting, Humans versus Machine, Question 29. Champions of court reporting, though, argue the opposite. They argue that with the increased reliance on technology, errors actually increase. Because digital systems record indiscriminately, they cannot discern important parts of the proceeding from other noises in the courtroom. And so let's take a look at 29. Though they argue the opposite period, they argue, we want to come back to com effectively combine these. And it really seems awkward with the period and they. Many times that's going to be the ambiguous pronoun. We have to get rid of this period anyway. And so if we put a comma, it would be such that with the increased reliance on technology, errors actually increase. And I think a lot of students might be inclined to select this. You want to be careful, though. We're linking an independent clause with a dependent clause. Such is fine. But when you see this that, that creates an independent clause. And that is going to be a comma splice or run on sentence. So you can't have that. C, we still have the that, which you can use as a relative pronoun for a dependent clause. But you can't say which is that. Again, it's, it's a run on sentence. And then D cures the run-on with a semicolon, but then it starts out their opinion is that, their is sort of ambiguous, it's bulky. We haven't seen this too much. The answer is B here. It's this M dash, this long dash, which is very similar to a, a colon. We have an independent clause. They argue the opposite, and then we state what their argument is after the colon, and that cures the run-on because we have the dash, which is creates a separate independent clause. We can have the that. And so it's B for 29. And 30, because digital systems record indiscriminately, semicolon. OK, if we put a semicolon, which is like a period, that's going to make this a fragment because this is a dependent clause. This is a subordinate clause. It has to be linked with an independent clause. Because the digital systems record indiscriminately, we need a comma there. And then the subject, they cannot discern important points, uh, parts of the proceeding from other noises in the courtroom. So certainly not a semicolon. We just want a comma. And so the answer is B for 29. And 31, despite this, a digital device does indeed record everything. But that includes loud noises such as a book dropping that can make the actual words spoken impossible to hear. And so 31 is a transitional sentence. So read the sentence above. It states that digital sy record systems record indiscriminately. They cannot dis discern important parts. Despite this, it does not re record everything. There's no con contrast here. Despite really means in spite of the fact or notwithstanding. This is really just sort of elaborating on the digital device indeed recording everything. And we see the word indeed, that's kind of a clue. Remember, indeed means in fact. And so we want a, a phrase like that. And if you look at the choices, by the way, therefore and consequently are very synonymous. Even if you didn't read the, the sentence, these you can't really distinguish between them because they're too similar. They're both wrong. And again, we need a word like in fact, in other words, this is sort of elaborating on the sentence, the point made in the sentence. It's sort of like in fact or indeed. And so it's B. All right, let's go back to the beginning. A court reporter, however, can distinguish between the words and distinguish between the extrinsic noises that need not be recorded. And so this one can distinguish between the words and distinguish between. Why do we need that? This is an and. We need parallel structure. And so this one can distinguish between the words and the extrinsic noises, just parallel structure here. And so it is D. And we've got one last question, number 33. Also, if a witness mumbles, a court reporter can pause court proceedings to ask the witness to repeat what he or she said. In some cases, digital recording makes it necessary for the judge to make additional announcements at the beginning of the trial. Increasing use of technology is a transition from accurate records to adequate records, says Bob Tate, president of the Certified Court Reporters Association of New Jersey. And so at 33, this last question, we want to best provide the supporting example for the main idea. The main idea, if you go back to the beginning, was really about the champions of court reporting. These are all the proponents of court reporting. And we have this quote at the end by the president of the certified court reporters who says that increasing use of te technology makes the transition from accurate records with humans to just 
adequate record, sort of sub average, not exceptional. And so we want evidence for 33, a main idea. So it talked about the difference where the nuances, the human court reporters can ask a witness to repeat it. In some cases, so this kind of implies, and even in some extreme cases, we're looking for some negative of digital recordings. Necessary for the judge to make additional announcement. Let's look at the other choices. Requires a courtroom monitor to ensure the equipment leads to changes in the roles of duty of several members. Again, that really doesn't fit in some cases, really in some extreme case. The digital recording has led to the need for retrial to do the whole trial again because of indistinct testimony from key witnesses. So this really shows how important the humans are because with digital recordings, in some extreme cases, they have to rehear the entire case. And so the answer here is D. And there's no more questions than to read the last paragraph. Despite the apparent benefits of using digital recording systems in courtrooms, there is still the need for the human touch in legal proceedings, at least for the foreseeable future. Machines cannot simply replicate the invaluable clarification skills and adaptability of human court reporters.